Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, as you can see from the title down below, I have got a box full of goodies here from Natural Collection, like Boots own brand. And I don't know how well you can see in there, but I got so many products. In fact, I have got more than a full face of makeup here. I've got three blush options, I've got three lip options, two eye options, like there's so much in here and it cost me less than £20. I can't remember the exact price, I will put it on screen, but it was so, so affordable and I hear nothing about Natural Collection. Literally nothing. So is that because it's not very good or people just haven't tried it? People don't hype it up in the same way that other affordable brands get a huge amount of hype. So that's what we're getting into today. If you like these full faces of one particular brand, then be sure to subscribe. I do these all the time. It's always cruelty free and it's always affordable. That is what we do on this channel here. So let's just dive straight on into this box of goodies, shall we? I've already done all of my skincare, but I am feeling especially dry today. But I've got a tinted moisturiser instead of a foundation because they were very limited on the colour options for the foundations and this was the only option that looked anything close to my skin tone. Maybe that's why people don't talk about it. This is the Natural Collection Tinted Moisturiser in porcelain and even though this was the lightest shade and one of the lightest options on the whole natural collection section of the Boots website this does look like it could potentially be a little bit dark for me but we're gonna make it work so let me just put a little bit on the back of my hand oh actually no that does look like it will be okay for a colour I did wet a sponge but now I'm thinking a sponge with a tinted moisturiser probably isn't the best option. That colour looks okay. That does not look bad at all. Let me just dot this all over and then I'll probably use a brush after I already went and, you know, sorted my beauty blender out. Never mind. This does have that scent. It's got that cheap makeup scent. But as long as that doesn't last on the skin, I don't mind. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Seamless Complexion Brush and let's tap this in. Okay, so in my far away mirror, this looks fine. I do want a little bit more coverage, but for a tinted moisturiser, I do feel like that looks really nice. It has just sort of even things out a tiny little bit. The skin is looking really nice and glowy. Let me just get a mirror and look up close though. None of these products have a mirror in, so I will be using something else. Yeah, that does not look bad. It's, um, it's catching a little bit on some dryness that I've got around my nose, but I did have a bit of an off day yesterday where I was just blowing my nose constantly, so my skin around my nose is a bit dry anyway so I'm not going to judge that too harshly. I will just see because obviously I only used that tiny little bit that I got on the back of my hand. I will just see if I can build this up sort of across the centre of my face a little bit more. Not too much. I'm happy with a light coverage but let's just see if I can get any more. I'm not expecting to but let's just see. <laughs> that is not layering up at all. It's all like balling up and pilling where I was like trying to tap it in to blend that out. Let me zoom you in so you can see what I mean. So we are getting really close and personal here. Hi, how are you doing? In this sort of area here, can you see where it's like pulling up where I was obviously going like this to try and <laughs> blend? It's almost like taken off the product where I was trying to layer up a little bit more and then just sort of deposited it in a really awful sort of patchy way down here. Everything was everything was looking really nice before, so maybe don't layer this up. So I'm just going to pretend that that tinted moisturiser isn't flaking off my face and I'm going to move on. The concealer that I've got also looks like the colour might be a little bit off for me, but this is 
it just says natural collection liquid concealer and i think that they only had three shades of this it was like fair medium or deep or something like that they might have had four but i went for the lightest one of course i went for fair and even this is like it's looking a little bit orange it's looking a little bit not quite the color i would normally go for but let's see how much coverage i can get from this i'm just going to apply that much and i use my normal concealer brush and i'll just tap this in trying to not move it around too much so that it doesn't pill up that tinted moisturizer that i've got underneath i don't like that either <laughs> That's almost doing the same thing where it's like balling up, pilling up and then sticking to my skin so it's making it look like I've got really dry flaky bits of skin stuck to my eyelids. I don't like that. I'm not going to try and apply another layer. I really hope that it's upwards from here. Like how bad can a powder bronzer be? she says <laughs> so let's just move on to the powder bronzer shall we um this just says it's the bronzing powder lightly tinted powder with a subtle frosting what does that mean is it going to be shimmery easy to blend and build for a natural sun-kissed golden glow with chamomile to help soothe and protect and this is in the shade sunshine so that is what it looks like see now in the viewfinder there it does look as though that's going to be a little bit shimmery but in real life that does just look completely matte so let's just see i'm going to use the usual brush that i use which is the real techniques blush brush and in case this is incredibly pigmented i'm just going to use a little bit and let's try and rescue what we've got going on on my face <laughs> okay so that's the bronzer all blended out i don't feel like i'm necessarily seeing that frosting element that it says that it's got i don't feel like it's looking very glowy at all if anything i would say that this is just a matte bronzer i don't mind the color but that was so low pigment like i've done a lot of layers of that bronzer to try and get it to this level so if you are somebody who generally goes overboard with your bronzer and you like something that is a slightly lower coverage a slightly lower amount of pigment then you might like this one i that is generally what i do i do go overboard but i feel like that was a lot of work like that was a lot of layers and a lot of blending it's layered up nicely it's blended nicely but it was a lot of work to get to this level i do also feel like that tinted moisturizer and concealer is oxidizing and i am slowly not matching the color of my chest anymore <laughs> so also something to bear in mind i don't think i would recommend those two that absolutely fine not the best not the worst by any stretch of the imagination so like i say i have three blushes to try because i was like i don't know what shade i'm gonna want i don't know what i'm gonna be feeling on the day and now that i've got them these are all pretty much exactly the same color so we have got the powder blusher in peach melba rosy glow and rose blush so that's what those look like oh now in the viewfinder they're looking slightly different but in real life they are i mean apart from this one that's more of like a hot pink these two are looking pretty much the same so i might just try one of these ones see how i like the formula and then return the other one because honestly these are both exactly the same color so i will go in with the slightly deeper one which is rosy glow and i've got another real techniques expert face brush i have one for bronzer and one for blush so there's no cross contamination going on even on the brush that looks a lot more pigmented than that bronzer did so let's just go in with a slightly lighter hand yes that's much more pigmented can you see the difference there where i've just put a little bit there and nothing on this side i really really like that it's not glowy it's not as glowy as like my collection 
glow blushes it's not like that but it does just give a little something it's got a little something there i don't believe that they had a highlight or I definitely would have bought one but that is giving a really nice little something to the cheeks i like that and that is definitely a lot more pigmented <laughs> than that bronzer was because that was a whole struggle that bronzer it took me a very long time to build that up but this is just just doing it in one layer i like it a lot so i am going to just go off and do my brows i only got a brow pencil i do think they had a gel but i'm so picky with gels that i just knew that i probably wouldn't get on with it so it's not worth my money spending on a brow gel when i'm so picky with them so this is the natural collection brow pencil this is in the shade medium brown and that's what the pencil looks like so i will go off and do that it has got a spoolie on the other end which i enjoy so i'll be right back when i've got some brows on my head i don't like that brow pencil it's very firm not taking into account that the color of my brows are a little bit green just ignoring that because i could have just got a different shade it's like it's not drawing onto my skin i've literally had to scrub that into my skin to get this level of brow and the color is green so i don't like this <laughs> let me see if i can just sort of soften it down a little bit with the spoolie I am just having a bad brow moment. <laughs> the last couple of videos that I've done, every single brow product that I've tried has been bad. And I would have always said, like, how can you get a brow pencil wrong? It's just a brow pencil. It's just a pencil that is brown, that's not too warm, that's not too green. How can you get it wrong? But this is probably one of the worst brow pencils I've tried this year. And I've tried some bad ones. <laughs> I do not like that. And also, whilst I was doing my brows and I had my mirror really close to my head to try and see what I was doing, something, and I'm not sure what it is, but something is chunky and glittery on my face. I don't know if it's the bronzer or if it's the blush. I think it's probably the bronzer because I don't feel like I was getting any sort of chunkiness from the blush but the bronzer said that it had that luminousness in it so luminousness, luminosity in it so I take it back. I don't recommend that bronzer. It's like chunky and glittery on my skin not the vibe so what's next i got two like individual eyeshadows that i don't think they had palettes they just had these little individual ones and if i remember rightly i think these were like 86 pence or something like that you can't go wrong unless they're awful then you probably can but i got the mono eyeshadow in champagne because i just thought one and done wash it all over the lid probably hopefully will look quite cute and then i also got heather for a slightly sort of warm toned gray i thought that that might look quite nice just sort of through the crease and then this one across the lid i also got a liquid eyeliner which i'm very excited to actually try out and see how it applies and see how it wears and everything because this has got my favorite sort of an applicator where it's a teeny teeny tiny little brush so excited to see how that looks and i also got a mascara so this is the natural collection volume mascara it says it builds and thickens lashes to achieve fuller lasting volume which is all i could ever ask for in a mascara truly so let's see how these powder little mono eyeshadows work i'm gonna take the heather shade on my usual fluffy brush and let's just oh that's looking very powdery obviously it's a powder but very like there's a lot of 
kick up from that one. Let's see. I'm going to just work this one through my crease. How many layers of a sort of mid-toned grey eyeshadow is Millie going to have to layer up before you can see literally anything? I know, before anybody says it, I know Natural Collection is obviously meant to be a very sort of natural makeup look. It's in the name, I get it. But if I'm going to the effort of putting a grey eyeshadow across my eyes, I want it to show up preferably in one layer because why would I want to build up seven <laughs> to get basically no pigment it's blending nice enough it's just not showing up very much at all like I have put a few layers on here this is my third fourth layer on this eye and I'm like it's subtle she's there but she's subtle i'm gonna just see if i can pack this on a little bit more with my finger let's see if we can just do a wash of something all over the eye obviously i've got that liquid eyeliner so if that works that can be the star of the show yeah even there like i've just put three four layers on like right across my lid and i'm like it's fine. I could get that level of pigment with basically half a layer of <laughs> something else. Like the Beauty Bay eyeshadows, I could get this look with the tiniest little dip of a grey eyeshadow out of that palette. This is just quite a lot of work. So let's see if the champagne shade is the same. I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit shimmery it does feel softer that one again <laughs> not really giving me very much at all i was hoping for something perhaps a little bit more reflective alas i expect it too much <laughs> am i just accepting that this is going to be a bad makeup day probably like okay yes there's a reason it's so cheap because apart from that blush i i don't like any of this <laughs> let's see how this liquid eyeliner goes i've got high hopes because i love liquid eyeliners with these little teeny tiny brushes but i don't have high hopes because everything else has been garbage let's see that is not a bad eyeliner if you are wanting a very very cheap very very cheap liquid eyeliner that one is fine i did have to do two layers to get it to that level of pigment and i generally find a brush tip easier i know other people find a pen or like a belt tip end easier to use i prefer a brush so it's just personal preference there it's fine do i prefer it over my favorite absolutely not if you're wanting a brush tip liquid eyeliner that is so black that stays all day that i can personally say is my all-time favorite liquid eyeliner i can't remember how much this one was i will put it on screen but the profusion one is 3.99 so take with that information what you will i'm absolutely not mad at that eyeliner like that looks it's probably one of the better products that i've used in today's video it's still not my favorite it's still not my favorite but it's absolutely fine i feel like as time is going on i am hating this base more and more i am a completely different color than i was at the start it's oxidizing it's almost turning pink I am a completely different colour than my chest, my brows are crazy, <laughs> everything is just going wrong. How much worse can it be with a mascara? Let's see. So this just has a regular sort of tapered brush, fairly standard, not my favourite but not the worst by any stretch of the imagination so let's see this is called the volume mascara so let's see how much volume we can get <laughs> i 
I feel like I need that audio clip. Three hours later. That took a while. I have just as much mascara on my eyelashes as I do on my eyelids. Something about that wand was just not working for me. I also feel like my lashes look rubbish. Don't like that either. Don't feel like I'm getting any sort of length. Don't feel like I'm getting any sort of volume. Don't feel like I'm really getting anything. It looks fine on the bottom lashes where you just want something to literally coat the lashes with a little bit of black pigment so that you can see them but the upper lashes have never looked worse it's a bad makeup day <laughs> so then the three lip products that i've got i've got a two in one lipstick liner in the shade pink souffle and this is just like a lip crayon it looks very very bright pink though one thing about the boots website when i went online to buy all of these things they don't actually have pictures or like swatches of what all of the colors look like so i was like yeah pink souffle that sounds like it would be fine i don't think i'm ever going to wear this color it's so bright pink that is not a bit of me but the other two products Ah, so I got the lip liner in dusky pink and that looks like a much better colour for me, much more neutral and then I got the, what are you, lipstick, it just says moisture shine, it says it on the bottom, moisture shine lipstick in sweet pea and this is shimmery. Like everything else that I've got on my face, it's just ever so slightly shimmery. Can you see that? So let's go in with the lip liner first. I feel like the drugstore, the UK High Street, has been doing lip liners so well recently. So many of the new ones that have been coming out have been fantastic. So this has got competition. <laughs> Again, not my favourite, not very creamy. It, well, it was creamy in that the pigment sort of comes out straight away, but it feels quite dry. It's almost like it's picking up on all of the dryness on my lips. Like, my lips are very dry anyway, all year round, but especially at this time of year, it's just every little bit of moisture is out of there. So, maybe the shimmeriness of the lipstick will help <laughs> what <laughs> no no that smells like children's makeup firstly it looks like children's makeup why does it look like that why is it pearlescent? Who wants that? Who wants that? This is not a good look, is it? I am putting myself out on the internet looking like this. Please be kind. I hate everything. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's a reason nobody talks about natural collection makeup. It's all bad. Literally the only thing out of this video that I have enjoyed is that blush. I'm furious. I mean, I'm not. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go immediately wash it off. But why is it so bad? Why did Boots let all of these products go out to the general public? And I know that I'm picky. I know that I try a lot of makeup. So my standard is perhaps a little higher. If you're wanting makeup for a two year old, if you're wanting makeup for an actual child who is always stealing your makeup and you're like, yeah, go use that, maybe. But even then, I'm like, would I want a child to look like this? No, I would not. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I'm glad I only wasted like just under £20 on all of these products because genuinely, apart from that blush, I'm never going to use any of this again. So 
Hmm. Are there any other brands that you think I need to try? I have on my list and by the time this goes out I may have already bought so <laughs> let me know if there's anything that you recommend. Technic makeup. Another one that I tried when I was very very young so interested to see if it has come anywhere since the late 90s. <laughs> let's wait and see on that one but natural collection I'm sorry it's a no from me this is all awful I cannot wait to get it off my face but let me know is, is there anything from the natural collection that is actually good that you think I need to try because literally everything here apart from that blush has been a huge flop and also let me know if there's anything from Technic because I'm going to be doing a little haul from them probably for in the new year but let me know let me know what you think of this awful makeup look please be kind but also please feel free to laugh at me because wow if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more from me that are hopefully a little bit more successful than this one don't forget to subscribe down below and until next time thank you ever so much for watching <laughs> bye